My name is Lowell Leitzel, resident of Seals Grove and graduate of Susquehanna University, class of 1976. I know that my grandfather, Paul V. Leitzel of Richfield, uh, served during the war uh, from, from roughly 1917 to 1919. Uh, much of that time was in training in different camps here in the United States, but then he also spent uh, a better, almost two years serving in, uh, in France and Germany before, the war, or before and even after the war ended. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have the chance or take the opportunity to talk to him while he was still alive, but through my great aunt and my aunt, I've been coming into possession of about 85 pieces of correspondence that he had sent home to his family in Richfield uh, during his service from the time he entered the service and began uh, in training camp until the time he, right before he came home. Uh, but he shared uh, what his initial experience was like in the, in the, the training camps here in the States. And uh, I was transferred from camp to camp by train, uh, in some cases with people he knew from Richfield, in other cases people he didn't know at all. Uh, he shared uh, uh, his experience of getting over to France, uh, serving in a truck supply train, as they called it. So he wasn't on the front lines, but uh, served behind the lines and supplying the troops with what they, what they needed. Um, he uh, shared bits and pieces of uh, experience dealing with the people of France when he first arrived, not understanding the language, uh, seeing children on the street, even mentioning a three-year-old asking for cigarettes, which I found rather humorous. Um, and then uh, once uh, his company uh, wound up in on German soil, uh, he was able to to write home just as the armistice was being signed, uh, indicating where he was, uh, the fact that once they learned the armistice had been signed, that everything was still, the gun stopped. And he even uh, shared his, his own thoughts about you know, the, the hope that, that this would indeed, as, as they said, would be the war to end all wars, uh, making mention in one letter that he thought for sure now that the Germans were done. My father came here as a young man, uh, was a student here from 1943 to 1945, and then went on to be a th uh, theological student at the seminary in Philadelphia. Um, and I, again, didn't take the opportunity to find out through my father what he knew about his father's experience in the war, but again, knowing that my father was a student here when the Second World War was going on, I would think that would have had some effect on him. Well, for me, it's just rewarding to have this collection in my possession, to have that sense of history going that far back now, 100 years, more than 100 years. It's a, a, a personal satisfaction for me, but I think, as we all know, uh, if we don't remember history and what has taken place in uh, both our personal lives and in our, our societal, national lives, uh, we do tend to repeat things. And uh, you know, they thought that was the war to end all wars. It wound up not being the case, uh, and we still find ourselves in those difficult situations. But I, th I think it's important that, that we be able to look back what our, our ancestors experienced as a way of helping us do our best to uh, live in a world of peace.